Hello and welcome to another accounting tutorial. Within this video, we'll be looking at how to calculate a semi-variable cost using the high-low method. The aim of this session is to try and help you to understand what the attributes are of a semi-variable cost and be able to use the high-low method in order to calculate a semi-variable cost at varying levels of production. So firstly, what is a semi-variable cost then? Well, a semi-variable cost is one which has a variable part and a fixed part. An example being a telephone expense where you have a fixed line rental and then you pay per call. But what does this mean? Well, a variable cost is one which moves in line with the number of units produced or used, whereas a fixed cost remains constant regardless of the number of units produced. So if we look at the graphic on screen, we can see that from the movement in units that the fixed cost element doesn't move, whereas the variable cost is double for 2,000 units in comparison to 1,000 units. When calculating a semi-variable cost, this can be problematic because in a question, it will only give you the total amount of the semi-variable cost and not the individual amounts for the variable element and fixed element. So we can see in the table pictured on screen that we have been given the energy expense, which is being identified as a semi-variable cost. And the cost for 1,000 units is 8,500 pounds and the cost for 4,000 units is 19,000 pounds. We now need a method to enable us to calculate what the cost would be for 2,800 units. The high-low method allows us to calculate a semi-variable cost. It does this by identifying the variable cost per unit and then using this to identify the amount of the fixed element. Again, looking at the table, we know that the movement in cost between the two sets of units is down to the variable cost. Again, as this is the part that increases when the number of units increases. With this in mind then, let's see how the high-low method works. The first step is to calculate the difference in costs and divide this by the difference in units. The difference in cost then will be 19,000 minus 8,500 to give you 10,500. The difference in units will be 4,000 units minus 1,000 units to give you 3,000 units. The next step then is to calculate the variable cost per unit by doing the difference in cost divided by the difference in units. So 10,500 divided by 3,000 units equals £3.50 per unit. We've now identified the variable cost per unit of our semi-variable cost. We can now use this to calculate the total variable cost for either the 1,000 units or the 4,000 units. In this case, I've picked 1,000 units, but it honestly doesn't make any difference. What we need to do is multiply whichever units you've picked by the variable cost per unit. So it would be 1,000 units times by £3.50 to give us 3,500. And this is your total variable element for the 1,000 units. We can then use this amount to calculate the fixed costs as the remaining amount out of the total semi-variable cost of 8,500 must relate to the fixed costs. Therefore, it would be 8,500 less 3,500 to give you a fixed cost of 5,000. With this information, we can now calculate our semi-variable cost for 2,800 units. To do this, we take our 2,800 units and multiply this by our variable cost per unit of £3.50 to give us a variable element of 9,800. We then add our fixed costs of £5,000 to give us a total semi-variable cost of £14,800. Well, let's now put this into a quick case study. You are working in the accounts department of Hawkins Limited and have been given the following cost information. Cost X at 2,500 units is 12,000 pounds and at 8,000 units is 31,800 pounds. Calculate cost X for 6,400 units. Right then, so let's follow the same steps as the example we've just been through. This would be to do the difference in cost, 
divided by the difference in units. It would therefore be 31,800 minus 12,000 to give you a difference of 19,800. Then 8,000 units minus 2,500 units gives us 5,500 units. We then do the 19,800 pounds divided by the 5,500 units to give you a variable cost per unit of £3.60. We'll then pick a set of units, in this case I've gone with the 2,500, so it would be £3.60 per unit multiplied by 2,500 units to give you a total variable cost of £9,000. This is your total variable cost for 2,500 units. To calculate the fixed cost it would therefore be £12,000 minus £9,000 giving you a fixed cost of £3,000. So let's now put all this together. To calculate this for 6,400 units, it would be 6,400 multiplied by the variable cost per unit of £3.60, which gives us £23,040. We then add on our 3,000 fixed costs to give us a total of 26,040, which is our semi-variable cost for 6,400 units. And that wraps up this video on using the high-low method to calculate a semi-variable cost. Please don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and to subscribe for more AAT content. Thanks again for watching, I'll catch you in the next video.